Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Time to Go. Yeah, we're here with some of our kids, some of our favorite kids. My daughter Brooklyn's over here, and my nephew Asher. My kids, uh, Courtney and Isaac, right here. My two favorites. Yeah, and sometimes Maggie might wander in. She's kind of that daughter, just like the parable today, uh, that uh, the daughter who wanders around. Um, the parable of the prodigal son usually is we're focused on the, the kid that runs away, right? Yep. Uh, you know, we often think of this as the parable of the prodigal son, but sometimes I like to think of it as the parable of the prodigal father who wastes all of his riches on his kids. Yeah, we all kind of like to do that with our kids. We've got some toys here. want to make sure everybody gets a toy. Here's a yeah, duck. Isaac, yeah. And some and another toy. More ducks and a phone. And here's a book. Another book. Hey, look, it's Justin's credit card. Here you go, Isaac. Hey, where'd you get that? I don't know. Wow. Well, another one of the things that we kind of commonly think about when we talk about this parable is how the son wastes all of his money, and that's why he's poor and needs to come home. But it's kind of an American interpretation of the text. Other cultures view it differently and view the reason that the son is poor as a, a failure of agriculture. There's a famine or a failure of people to help him when he was in need. So you have to remember that we bring kind of this cultural interpretation to this text, and that's not how everyone views it. Yeah, I like to think of this as a parable where we focus more on the father than the sons. Uh, we often think about the sons and what they get wrong, uh, but I think it's really important for us to focus on the father in the story and how the father exemplifies God's love for us. This father who gives half of what he has to the one son who he knows is probably going to squander it. When he comes back, he welcomes him with open arms, and then he even goes out of the party to go welcome his other son in. Uh, this is a reminder of how much God loves us and cares for us and showers us with more gifts than we could ever count and deserve. Uh, we hope that this is a parable that teaches you something about love this week. Uh, love for your own children, love for all the children of the world. Yeah, a reminder that God loves you that much as well. But for now, we're going to play with some toys, so it's time to go. Have a good week. <laughs>